All right, in this video, we're going to create an MCP server using N8N, and then we're going to integrate that into Claude Desktop so that um, Claude can talk to our MCP workflow. So if you don't have Docker Desktop, you're gonna need that in this video. So um, go to docker.com, get that installed, um, and uh, let's get started. We'll go ahead and start by logging into N8N. So let's go to n8n-web.com. We'll sign into our workflow our instance now we'll go ahead and create a workflow so um first thing we need is a trigger so we'll go click on this and search for mcp and you'll see the mcp server trigger so let's click on that it gives you a url here we can ignore this for now the mcp server trigger needs tools what's a tool right uh i'm a tool uh but uh it's usually something like either gmail or slack or it could be another workflow. So anything that you want the LLM to be able to use, that's your tool. In this example, I'm gonna keep it super simple. I'm just gonna output a joke. I'm not gonna create a fancy workflow. I'll let you create a workflow on your own. So to create my little joke, I'm just gonna click on tools and just put in some code. So I'm gonna type code and pick this node here, the code tool. And I'm literally just going to output some string here. So I'm just gonna say uh why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side hilarious wonderful joke um but there's a couple things we need to change here the first thing is you can see this description it says call this tool to get a random number so the description is something that the llm will see and it will provide some context as to what this tool does. So in this case, we're just going to say, call this when asked for a joke. And then the next thing you'll want to do is change the name of this node, right? Because it's called code tool up at the top here. But you also want to make it something that the LLM will see and kind of go, oh, I think that's where I'm supposed to be looking. So we'll go ahead and just call this joke creator. And we're done. We're done with this part. You can see it's connected here. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and save this real quick. Um, the last thing I want to do is come back into the MCP server trigger. And you can see that the URL it gives us is this really long gobbledygook. I like to simplify this. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this path to joke. And you can see that it changes the URL to end with slash joke. We'll need that in a little bit, but not right now. So I'm just going to save it again and make it active got it and we're good to go there all right so now we've created the mcp server that part is good to go i forgot to save it um always save it if you get any problems make sure you've saved what you did um so we're gonna need to connect the mcp server to cloud desktop and in order to do that we're gonna need something called a super gateway so let's just go to google and search for super gateway and it should take us to this page. I'll link to this in the post. Um, oh, if you come here, it'll take us to this GitHub page. There's a whole bunch of stuff here that we don't really need to look at or know. We're just looking for this section here that says using with Claude Desktop. And it gives us two options here. One is using MPX, which is a JavaScript for Node. It's Node for JavaScript. Um, or we can use Docker. And let's just use Docker because it's easier. So we're going to have to copy this into a file in cloud desktop so let's go ahead and click on copy real quick and then open up cloud desktop okay here we go let's go to cloud settings and over in developer you'll get this little button that says edit config so we'll click on that and all it does is show you where the file is but you have to open it yourself so we can open that with a text editor of our choice and you can see we've got this little javascript bracket here but let's go ahead and just select the whole thing and delete it and then just paste what we got from that website. So the only thing to really notice here is this part needs to be left alone. This part that says MCP servers is required. This part here that says super machine example Docker, this is what your MCP server is going to be called inside of Claude. Um, so you can change this to whatever you want. I'm gonna call this zero code devs. And then everything else stays the same except for this bottom piece here, this URL. That's where we're going to need the URL from NADN. So let's go back to NADN and copy that URL that's here. 
We want the production one, not the test one. So I'll just click on that a few times to copy it. Come back to that text editor, select that bottom line and replace it. So now you can see we have our URL there. I'll save this file and I'll close it. And I'll go back to Claude and Claude only reads that file when it starts up. So you'll have to close Claude and then open it again. So now when it starts, he'll either get an error message up at the top right. Well, you'll get this first, uh, but then you'll either get an error message at the top right saying something went wrong or you won't. And that means something went right. So if we click here, you should see now right there is zero code devs. And if you click on that, you should see the, the joke creator. So if I say, tell me a joke, it should ask me if I want to use that. Right here it says, would you like to use zero code devs joke creator? Yes. And then it should come back and tell me whatever response it got. Now you see, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? So this MCP server is just returning literally a hard coded joke, um, but it could have returned a list of phone numbers. It could have returned an email, whatever you needed it to do. But that's how you set up N8N as an MCP server in Claude Desktop. If this helped, please hit the like, subscribe button, and join the community. I'll see you guys next time.